Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Minolta XC7. It was originally released in 1974. It came out of a technology and patent sharing agreement between Minolta, Copal, the shutter company, and Ernst Lights, the company that makes Leica. It has a lot in common with the Leica R3. Uh, some people claim that they're essentially the same camera. They're more like cousins. It does aperture priority in auto. There's a match needle meter showing the shutters in the viewfinder. And on the front bottom here, there's kind of a optical snorkel arrangement where the actual numbers off of the lens that shows you the uh, aperture is reflected up and shows you that in the viewfinder. There's also a light for when it's on auto where it'll show you the actual shutter speed when you're using it manually. When you're shooting in automatic mode the shutter speeds are stepless so you select the aperture and the circuitry inside will select the exact shutter speed to uh, do a proper exposure. It has plus or minus 2 EV uh, exposure compensation here on the film speed dial. There are a few cool features. This button, when it's in like this, it works with the Minolta lenses, the older lenses, not the Maxim lenses, that have a, a pin that sticks in the body and transmit the aperture. When it's out like this, it'll do stop-down metering so you can use older lenses or lenses with an adapter that don't transmit the aperture to the body. It has a couple other cool features. It has a little red thing here so that you know the film's winding properly. That's up above the film counter. A uh, couple other things. It has a socket for a PC cord. It's a 1974 camera. A hot shoe, but it's not an intelligent hot shoe. One of the really slick features here by the Film Rewind, if you move that lever to where it's showing you the red, it disengages the film counter and the rewind, and you wind it on to cock the shutter and you can do multiple exposures. I've got a 50mm uh, uh, 1.7 lens on it. I've been using that and also this old Tele 135mm uh, f2.8. It's a nice portrait lens. So uh, this one's had a little bit of trouble with uh, the shutter sticking. If when it's in automatic mode, the needle will show me it's going to do you know a five hundredth of a second. Hit the button, and I never get the second click. And a few shots I've ruined because I snap it, and then I turn away, and then the shutter closes. I haven't run into that at all using the manual settings even though the meters just right so I think I just need to to use it no telling how long those shutter blades have been sitting in the same position anyway it's a fun camera uh, it's really sophisticated it's got just about everything you would want and that's all I can think to say I'll run another roll through it and I'll see you then